my name is Abby and today we are here to talk about these beauties right here behind me. We're here to talk about my bookshelves. Oh, for like the past two weeks my bookshelves um, were like mysteriously moved from one location to the other in my room and I never really explained how, why, when, or anything like that um, until someone recently uh, commented on one of my reading vlogs being like, I didn't know where your books, where your bookshelves went for like half the video. Um, and here they are. I didn't get rid of them. I promise. They're still here. Uh, I kind of wanted to use this video to go ahead and talk about why I changed them and when I decided to do so and all that fun stuff. In the next clip is actually going to be past Abby talking to you guys more vlog style about the reasons why I decided to change everything and all of that fun stuff because that little clip along with the speed through that you guys will be seeing of me cleaning and changing my bookshelves around, that all was actually supposed to go into a reading vlog but it actually took me so long and the, and the footage was just so long that I didn't want to add like 20-30 minutes of me changing my bookshelves into an already super long reading vlog. So you guys go ahead and go and enjoy all of that footage and then we'll be coming back here so that way I can answer some of your questions about my bookshelves. So the way that I actually have my room set up right now is the one that has worked for me for the longest. Um, if I had it my way, um, the, the biggest issue that I have is just for filming purposes. So I have my bookshelves behind me on this side and then I also have my TBR shelf right there. If I had it my way, I my closet would not be right here and I would have my books along this wall just because my big window is on the wall opposite and it just creates such great natural lighting. Um, but unfortunately, because my closet is here, I cannot do that. So what I'm going to do today is I have always wanted to have a day bed. So what I'm going to do is for this reorganization, I am basically going to treat my bed like it's a day bed and eventually I do want to buy the framework to actually get a day bed. I'm going to be like just shuffling my bed down a little bit that way my entire bed is completely under my window and then I'm going to be moving both of these bookshelves onto that wall so that way all three of my bookshelves are together. Now, hopefully this will work out the way that I want it to. I do know that all three of them do fit on that one. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm super excited. And this is also going to give me an opportunity to kind of change my bookshelves around a little bit. So that's going to be really fun as well. So, all right, let's do it.
what I am trying to decide right now is if I want to continue having my TBR just on the white shelf over there or if I want to go ahead and have all of my TBRs on this on the very bottom of the three across. Um, I don't really know what I want to do yet. I'm trying to decide and I can't figure it out. So I might go back and forth and try both of them and see what works better. Um, and then I will, I think, officially decide. getting into some of the questions that you guys have about my bookshelves here. Um, I'm going to be going through, I did ask you guys on Insta Story for some questions that you might have and I did get quite a few. So the first one that we're just going to answer is a pretty, I think, normal one and that is, Abby, how are your bookshelves organized? Let's go ahead and talk about that shall we? So, okay, it, as you can see when I move out of the way, I currently have three bookshelves. I have my two large black ones, and then I have my small white one. I tend to organize them for the most part. First of all, by height is the biggest thing, and then kind of genre within, kind of. So, uh, we can kind of start up here at the top, um, are in rainbow order of all of my standalone books, or are my um, like first books in a series and the rest of the series hasn't come out yet. So I will only own the first book in that series. That's it. So that is kind of what the entire top row is. And then moving down to these two rows right here, 
On the left side I have all of my Rick Riordan books, so that's all him right there. The only other one on here that does not technically belong to Rick Riordan is our shot in the end of time, but this is still under the Rick Riordan Presents. So as her series continues and then as more of his Rick Riordan Presents book series come out, that is eventually going to probably take like across two of them. Then moving on over to this one right here. I have, this is gonna be more of my like shorter hardbacks but more fantasy dystopian kind of things. So I have like the Shatter Me series, I have the Passengers uh, duology by Alexander Bracken, uh, the Lunar Chronicles is on there. First of all the next four are all kind of my taller hardbacks. So over here all of the series on that shelf are complete except for An Ember in the Ashes and The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. Um, that is why Afterworld is kind of there right now. The third book for Catherine's series and the final book in that series is actually coming out very soon. So that is where that book will go once it comes out and I read it. So placeholder. So then the other ones, so now the other ones here are going to be ones that I are either 100% not completed or they're also standalones. So I have the first two books in Morgan Rhodes series, the first two books in Susan Dennard series, the first two books in Stephanie Garber series, except for hers I have both the American and the UK editions. So I have like two Carvals and two Legendaries. Apologize, but this is a little bit better. So then you guys can see the continuation of this one. So I can, so now I, st so now continuing on, I have all of the first books in series that um, will be continuing or not, um, but these are again the taller hardbacks. Next down here I have again just continuing bigger hardbacks, so um, this is pretty much like my entire Sarah J Mass area. And then over here on this side I have Harry Potter right here. I have Victoria Aveyard and then uh, the first two books in Stalking Darth Ripper and then the DC Icons. Um, and then continuing down on this on this little bottom area I have more of my fantasy dystopian novels here. These are all series that are completed. Over here I have a lot more of my like prettier books. They're the ones that are like really really bright spines, very pretty. A lot of these are contemporaries. As I continue talking I just kind of realized that I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. These aren't really done by genres at all. Cool. I honestly for the most part just kind of do them in a way that I know is going to make my bookshelves look really pretty and very cohesive. The, so the heights are really the biggest things for me. That is though kind of the layout of my book. So another one is what book was the first one on your shelf? That is so hard because I know that I've given away a lot of my books like just doing like unhauls and stuff just because my books have gotten just because my shelves did get a little clustered um I think if we're talking like real real first books I've had these same Harry Potter books since I was in like elementary school so those are some old books Twilight ones are super old I've had those since middle school when those came out uh, Divergent, The Hunger Games, well actually The Hunger Games is a new edition, so the Divergent series though I've had for a while. Okay, and then I think the last question I'll answer is someone asked what is my favorite row on my bookshelf? Um, and this is really really hard because I think I definitely have a few favorites like my Rick Riordan shelf I love with everything but beyond that one I think another really big favorite is this one right here the one with the and I Darken series, The Ember and the Ashes, The Queen of the Tearling, Daughter of Smoke and Bones, Illuminae, because all of those are some of my favorite series that I've ever read. So I definitely think actually like probably these two are like my two absolute favorite ones. So but yeah, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed getting a little bit of a glimpse into my shelves and how I like to organize them and how I have them organized right now. And thank y'all so much for watching and for the constant support. Please give the video a thumbs up. And you guys should totally also comment down below letting me know how you organize your bookshelves. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.